Hello everyone, very good morning and welcome to the next session of ABAP tips. In this, I'm going to share how we can create a tree ALV in simple and easy way. So just let me uh, make, uh, uh, let me show you how the output we can expect. Here you can see the career ID. This is, what, uh, this is the career ID, right? AA and the career name, right? So this is the airline. Airline having the career ID, this one, and career name is this one, right? So this career ID, if you want to expand, if you want, you can remove the text, right? Simply airline, and then here on top, career ID, we can give, and career name also, we can give, that's fine, right? So I will show you, like, if you want to remove any of the text, how we can uh, do that, okay? So uh, what you have to do that? you have to define some couple of structure over here, which will uh, hold in the record, right? The important structure over here is this one, S node text, very, very important structure from the ALB tree point of view, S node text. Just remember this structure and this structure, basically we have to populate in order to represent the data in tree format. And then we have the two important function module. Another is the RS3 construct, right? This function module. And another important function module is RS3 list display. Okay. So three things is important. One is no text that is structured. Second is this function module, which is going to construct the stuff in the tree format. And then it's going to display. The data in the tree format we have to prepare. How we can prepare that data? Let me show you quickly. So basic structure we have defined over here in order to hold the data and all. If you are on the latest version, like Netlin version 7.40 onwards, you can use the inline declaration, right? I have used the traditional way of declaration over here and I'm fetching some data. So in the first step, we have to get some data. Second step, we have to prepare the data in the tree format. And in the second, uh, you know, and in the second step, we have to use the function module and display the data into ALB tree. So here, career ID and career name, I'm fetching the data from the SCAR table and putting into over here. In the next step, using the for all entry concept, we are Use, uh, we are populating car ID and con ID from this and you know, giving over here, right? And in the next step from the S flight table, we are populating car ID and con ID as well as flight data, right? From here to in this internal table, right? So, and we are just sorting first LTS, ITS car from the car ID, ITS PFLI with uh, car ID and con ID, and ITS flight with uh, car ID, con ID and FL date. Now, we are preparing the root node. Here you can see that this is the root net. This is the first column, right? First column. I mean, this one, let me take it's a screenshot. It will be easy for me to explain that. So here, see. So this airline, the root node, this 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 one is responsible for the root node. Okay. So under the root node, that means this airline, right? This text zero one, that means the first level, right? Tree level. T level means tree level. N length means node length. Node length is twenty three. So this airline length from here to here is 23. Okay. Then this second text, if you want to write, this is for the second text. Text one is for this career ID. So we are operating career ID. Length of that is 15. So this is from here to here 15 length and color is five, right? It's coming into this greenish color. So this is due to that five. Text two is career name. Here we are giving this career name, right? And text uh, text length is like from here to here. It's a twenty, and color is zero five again. The same same value. So hope you got the first point. The second point we have to prepare 
this is the first level node right first level node. this this all this first level node we have to prepare so for that what we are doing then we are uh, come here you know come here and see here after preparing we are putting into the internal table right here w underscore node here you can see that loop at it underscore s cap from this table actually we have to uh, prepare this right we have to prepare car id a and this career name so this uh, this a a and career name this is two variable and this is fixed value so for uh, the fixed value basically we are populating right to see on id uh, we are putting the loop correct the first loop over here first loop over here so car id it's going to come car id everywhere right car id we are fixing it if you don't want to populate simply you can comment this okay simply we can comment this and that value is will will not come let it be like this at this moment okay and uh, then we have the car id over here right so the the car id value so uh, this this is the variable right work area field value we are putting it over here loop at internal table into this work here from here we are passing the data into this text another for the second column see for the second column this one we are getting the carrier name so length is four only like the complete carrier name is not coming so what we can do that we can increase the length of this one maybe uh, let me give the 30 and color from 0 to 7 anything we can select so here i'm going to select 04 04 and here this color let me give some five and this is for three some different different color so that it will look beautiful here also we can change the color four here five already is there and this five instead of two we can give and like that just i have given the color so career id this career id you got and the career the first level you got now when we are going to expand this career id i want to see the different connection see here the connection id right so connection id we want to populate that's why in the where condition whatever the career id is here only for that i want to populate the data right so we are preparing that internal table and again putting it over here right so for the second level we have done and again the text uh, again the next uh, like a uh, uh, different different column we want to display then like that text one t length one t color one we can keep on adding right so that's again for like date we want to see for each career id right we have this uh, connection id and what's the date for that uh, like when uh, what uh, when are the flights are there on which dates flights are there so those dates we are getting from the s flight uh, id flight uh, uh, internal level right and at last we are preparing this so activate this one activate this one and press okay, let's see here now how the data is coming when you are expanding this one see connection id and this value is coming right and again when you are expanding at the third level we are having the dates only so this flight this connection 0017 right for this career id american airlines for this connection id is from certain city to some certain city right on this date the flights are there right for this there is no further expansion right so means there is no some connection id uh, is present in the table for here canada there is no connection id so that's why it's not expandable right from here also we can expand so like that you can prepare hope you got idea how to prepare the lv tree so this code i'll be sharing with you okay and one thing i was telling that you know if you want to remove this career id or career name or or, or let it be like this career id and career name we can keep it like this maybe we if you want to remove this career id right so we can remove it how by simply 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 by commenting this part of code right this part of code so there will be some misalignment you have to uh, adjust them
Okay. Tell you right, T level. Sorry, T level. And we forgot to give right. T level at least we have to give correct. T level. So T level and node length. Uh, maybe node length we can miss it. That is not required, I believe. Press F8 and you can see that node level is not required. That. So here, why I have removed that? You know, already carrier ID here on top I have given. So carrier ID is for this and this. this uh, adjustment you will have to do so how you can do this adjustment come here and instead of 23 just to give over here 10 and then you have the 15 that is fine and then 20 it looks good now activate this activate and press f8 your line so carrier id again little more adjustment we have to make little left again so uh your line one two three four five six seven eight so at least give uh, eight characters you have to give more than this more, uh, less than that that will not be possible right otherwise it will be cut so your line then the carrier id and then the carrier name length right if you want to shift this one a little light maybe what you can do here uh, you can come and, and then uh, uh, just length you can enable okay so length we can enable uh, something it will be sufficient right let's activate this one press f8 and now it's a look it is looks a little more so maybe we can give uh, three will be more than sufficient okay and this is fine so carrier id again the carrier name and this is the carrier. this also we can adjust right so come here and how we can do that quickly um, this is it this is 15 and this is 20 so we can increase this size okay. so like that we can do you know this is just a little more maybe 25 we can make it and then it will be automatically adjusted to the right right and you can expand this one you can expand this one. so like that hope you got some idea about the tree lb how we can create right all the Courses and everything like you want to learn about from scratch to advance, you can come to sapptechmedigy.com slash study and check out the courses we are having over here from scratch to advance. Just subscribe and learn it from here. You have the different options, right? You can get the courses in the package, right? In one package, there are many stuff, many, uh, you know, stuff from scratch to advance. You have lifetime access, early plan, half yearly plan, you know. All kind of planning will be able to see and it will be helpful for you so just to go ahead and see if any code is relevant for you then you can take any course thank you for watching bye bye have a nice day